I love you concept. I love you concept. Ferno, you spazzing. Uh, I'm on diamond shine, they skate, we shining. I can never hate you a snake, yeah. Big timing, making big moves, big plans, yeah. Uh, I'm on nigga station that We are here. We are actually 1.6 miles away from where we're going. And the traffic sucks. We don't have a real turning light, so I've actually been sitting here. Turn, I can't do any of that, so hopefully this 18 wheeler that y'all see that brown one across there. Hopefully he stopped. Me. That's the poor wheel, I think I'll let you go there, Peter. When I get to the light, I'll let you get make your left turn. There you go, you see the I appreciate it, Rob. No problem. All you need is a little communication, so. It's crazy that happened. I was just telling my, my partner about communication with the CB earlier today, so I really appreciate that because I, I didn't want to be sitting here all day.
to the channel man it is cold now we done made it down to oklahoma we done got unloaded and we only had three hours on our clock left whenever we got unloaded so what we do we come up here to the loves little bitty loves y'all know where it said if y'all drive uh oklahoma a lot y'all know exactly where i'm at so we post it up here check out my truck man check this out uh check that out uh Oh my polish. Ugh, gone bye bye. Y'all see it. Look at my tarts. Look at my tarts, y'all. So look at that. So we got uh we're gonna do our um we're gonna stay here at 12 o'clock. We get our hours back. Get our hours back tonight at 12, get like eight hours back. I gotta go to the yard to let them check my lights. I remember I said I had some wrong with my lights. Yeah, so which they honestly ain't back working, but just to be safe, uh, me and my uh, dispatcher then came up with, just go ahead and uh, go by the yard and let them look at it. So that's what we gonna do, man. That's what we gonna do. We gonna go by the yard, get that checked out. Hopefully they don't have to hold my truck for uh, no longer than, you know what I mean, the rest of the day, cause I'm gonna be there before they even come into work, so. I want to go get the truck washed off before I get there so I can look at it. But, you know what I'm saying, that'll be causing me, which it really needs to be washed off before I go in there. So what I do is I probably uh, get it washed. Um, get it washed so they can get it looked at, man, because um, it really happened to me whenever my truck was caped up like my, it wasn't caped up like this. This is snow. I was caked up with like ice, like I was iced out, like everything was iced out, everything was froze out, and my fuses was burning, like it, it burnt out, um, it burnt out like, I wanna say five fuses of 30 watts. I watched, I put a 25 watt in there once, and I watched it just pop, which that's the only, all, all I had was 25 watts. That's what's in there now, and it's working. And uh, I put it in there, and it popped, boom, so I'm like, ah, oh, man, so, after everything dried out when i got to uh pennsylvania everything dried out and all that stuff like that I wa truck had time to you know what i mean I had time to dry out so i just uh put a new fuse in there and cut my lights on whenever i was uh you know see me uh putting that trailer back together or breaking the breaking the trailer down i put a fuse in there that day and it was all dried out and it's been working since so like I told her, I was like, it, they, they gonna tell me they can't do nothing about it because, or they can't find the issue because the, it's working now, you know what I mean? Probably went there whenever it was bad, they could have tracked it down and, and, uh, and uh, found it. But right now, I don't think they'll be able to find it because, because it's working, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, we gonna actually just, you know what I mean? We, we chilling right now, so I'm gonna uh, get up in the truck, probably go to sleep here because it's about six o'clock here. I get up in six hours, drive to the yard, and hopefully I get a hotel and stuff like that, which y'all would know a uh, better idea of what's going on. But like it is, I think it's uh, 13 degrees right now. 
and my hands are frozen. Like I only got a hoodie on, shorts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just out here. I wanted to show y'all the truck, honestly. So yeah, it's, it's freaking nasty, and I I don't like it at all. So you know, and it's it's gonna be like this for a couple of days, honestly. So a couple of days, I got some uh. So I bought some of them new uh, gadgets and stuff because I only like to record off my phone. A lot of people, they like to record off their cameras uh, and stuff like that, but I like my phone and stuff. I like my phone so I can, you know what I mean, do a little bit of everything with my phone. So, you know what I mean, I can edit on my phone. I'm good at editing on my phone. I can I can edit a video down in like 20 minutes on my phone. So I really like doing it on my phone. I just need a laptop to store all, all, my, all my videos in. So... In this case, I had to bring back a flashback. I can just jump back to that video, and edit it in, and then, you know what I mean, show y'all like that. But, yeah, man, I'm about to get in my truck because I'm really cold, and I'm going to catch up with y'all in the morning, probably when I'm leaving out, or if I make it to Springfield because they say it's very bad. So, hopefully, I'll make it there tomorrow because, you know what I mean, I might end up just filling my tank up here in the morning and then taking out because, you know what I mean, they say it's going to be pretty bad. Hopefully, up that way, so... Yeah. What's up, guys? We have made it. Made it to the yard, man. Gotta uh, drop this trailer. And uh, hopefully be able to get my truck into the shop. They say it'll be a little bit, but they say, okay, cool. That'll work. A little bit of work, you know what I'm saying? Which I don't think they're going to be able to do anything. I'm saying this now. Before they even go up in there, is that I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything. Pretty sure they're gonna be like, oh, if the problem occur again, as it's occurring, then come in. So if they can track down some shit, it'll be good. But if they can't, then it's gonna have to, that's gonna set in the back of my mind. Like, will they find it? You know what I'm saying? But we about to get out here and uh, get this. Uh, this trailer I'm done. So I started the video because I want y'all to see what I got to deal with. So. Yeah, boss. And this is what we got to unhook. Check it out. Oh. We got to go up under here and unhook that. <laughs> that is really probably froze. We got to knock all the snow off of this right here. We got all of that. And all that was, we got wood just laying back here. All this wood was covered up. It's snow. Oh, wow. Oh, it's stuck to the trailer. Look at that. All of that the road. Okay, so let's try and get this stuff knocked out. Knocked off real quick. I know the perfect thing for this. See what we got there. Get this pair of gloves real quick. Get this pair of gloves. I need to get a hammer. That's what I need to get. Well, I don't got a hammer, but it's gonna need a fucking hammer. Let's see if we can get some of this shit knocked off here. There you go. Yeah, I see what's going on.
knocks that out. Let's see. I'll be back. Thing, thing, man. Everything is still holding up. How nasty she is, y'all. Uh, it's a damn shame. Get your ass off my truck. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess we're about to go talk to a recruit. Alright guys, we are we're in St. Louis again. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, but we're at the same spot. Really almost parked in the same parking spot again. Um we gotta head over here, uh drop this trailer off right here. Um Pick another trailer up. Last time we had to go over there. Go to where it's smoking at. We had to go over there and uh, pick up our loaded, but this time our loaded will be in the back where we was the proper time. So we're actually picking up uh, the identical load to what we had last time, which is uh, going to front row. So um, we're just uh, Drop our trailer there, pick that trailer up, and then take off the front row. Front row, I think it's like 780 some miles. So I got eight hours on my clock. Well, I got eight hours and 35 minutes to drive. I got, no, I got eight hours and 11 minutes total of uh, on my 70. So I tried to, uh, I left out this morning. Uh, I left out this morning about three o'clock. I came across St. Louis because I didn't want it to snow uh, bad. You know what I mean? If it snowed overnight, I didn't want it to be bad to where you wouldn't be able to drive across. So I just came in and took me like a two hour nap on the other side. So now I just go in and just drop the trailer because they open the gates at six o'clock and now it's like 7.16. So I dropped that and then uh, we'll be on the road to go, man. Stop and take me a shower. Uh, get fuel again. We have half a tank right now. We really need to find somewhere to get DF. Fill all the way up with that because I can't keep uh, I can't keep spending money on uh, those individual boxes. Like what, two point five gallons for what twenty some bucks? Yeah, I can't keep doing that, and that's cash going out of my pocket. So. Yeah, guys, go ahead and get this done, and uh, I'll catch up with y'all here in a little bit. Man, what's the deal, man? We <laughs> we done made it up here, man. It's been a stressful uh, day and a half. I'll tell you that much. We got an old trailer we dropped over here last week. Got that trailer to pick up. That can't be it, because that ain't got none. I'll scrap something. Huh? Yeah, I'll be, be hating it. It's always on this side, too. We're gonna take all our bunches off of the here. I'm gonna rent the building. Drop this trailer here. Go to the other side and scoop up that trailer over there. See what we got, man. See what we got, man. I don't know. I knew it was something stopping me. That's a little bit snow. So, 
I'm probably gonna take it off this hill because we're on a slope right now. So I don't know. I might just. That is a lot of snow. I don't know. Cause I got I gotta put the bills back here. Drop this off, right? <laughs> and then since we got time and it's still kind of early to me, about three o'clock. Uh, I can uh put that trailer down. Put that trailer down. It'll probably take an hour, hour and a half to do it. It's full of snow on top, so throw that snow on top there and uh get everything over here situated. And then we'll be straight, ready to roll. I don't like this the slope shit though, man. This shit is unsafe. But yeah, man, I'll check in with y'all here in a second, man. Y'all been good. Shit. So we snatching these uh snatching these bungees off my old trailer. So I can put them on my new trailer. We just got a uh, saved by the bell because we don't have to um we don't have to um we don't gotta take our sidekick off. We uh are going to load out of the sky cars. We're gonna load out of sky cars. And so all we need to do is all we're gonna have to do is take our, our side to uh, flip our tarp back, um, take down the side, like two or three or four of them on the side, and then get loaded. And then uh, throw our scraps just like that. Boom, boom, boom. I think we can use those J hooks. We got four of them, I think. We can use the J hooks because only like uh, three scraps you throw across. Use our J scraps and then scrap it down. I'm figuring this stuff out quick, man. I, I, I've been learning. I called my, my partner earlier and asked him how the hell do I load that shit. And that's how he told me I load it. So I'm grabbing these. And we're going to walk back over here to this side. Back over to the other trailer. Look at this shit, man. <laughs> Y'all wanna see my, how far my leg going in this right here? Oh, oh man, it's too hard. Oh shit. Oh, that's cold. Yeah, that's cold. That is cold. I'm dirty, guys. These are my my work clothes. I've been trying to figure out ways to to not use up all my clothes in one week. So I just take my jeans off to work and my jeans, and then. You know, just keep rotating them. I wear one jeans for one pair a week. Cause I only bring out three pair of jeans. And depends on where I'm at, if I put them on or not. From somewhere where I'm just scrapping down, then I just leave my shorts on. But some people call me crazy because I wear shorts in the winter. But I have like four, like four pair of shorts right now. But let me uh, get this right here on here and then now my hands are getting cold I'm touching this stuff. Let me get this done and we'll be uh we're gonna park up and 